Hi you guys. Yes, this is Sage and this is a Buddha. I'm going to teach you about feng shui in my next video, which will be later today, but I was just so excited about it today. I wanted to share it before I went to work. Feng shui is something that's really, really important that goes hand in hand with the law of attraction. And the most important about feng shui is your house. You know, you have areas in your house that is a wealth corner, that's a fame corner, a family corner, a knowledge corner, and it's it's really impetitive that you have that energy to be able to flow so those corners aren't cluttered in your house and the things that you know that you should have in the in those corners of your home so really quickly i'm going to show you right here um like the map see it right there you see how it says wealth and family fame and health well-being career so i'm going to have that i'll send you guys the link on it so you guys will be able to download it yourself and be able to use it for your home. And the reasons why you should have those corners clean in your house. Because if you want to use the law of attraction to manifest the desires that you want in your life, you really, your house has to be hand in hand with the universe. You know, you can't have all clutter in these corners because you really need that mind clear. Like if you use shoes, and you put them under your bed, that's such a no-no because it carries so much energy on those shoes and you're trying to keep your bed, your mind nice and clean. You know, when you go to bed, you want nice and clean mind and those shoes are gonna release energy wherever you were, wherever you walked in, and it's true, okay? I'm not crazy, it's true. So leave nothing under that bed. Let the chi flow when you come into your room, okay? So that being said, also, this is like, I call it a thankful rock, you know, but on the movie on the secret, mm, they stole the idea too, which is the gratitude rock, which, hey, I must have been in line with the universe because I gave this to my kids before when they were younger to let them know, you know, this is something as a reminder when you touch it, it's in your pocket what you're grateful for. If you teach your kids now what they're grateful and thankful for, not just being polite, but what they really, you know, to use it for the universe so they could get, you know, to be in line with the un to be in line with the universe to get what they want in life is really really good. So let them you know teach this to your kids really early. And as you adults, take a rock, get a nice stone, put it in your pocket, and call it the thankful and reminder stone. And every time you touch it, you go down your list what you're thankful for. So all that being said, um, thank you again. And the sage is really good for your house, you guys, to clear the energy. You know. It's so good, and you could do it to your body, you could do it to your car, and all that good stuff. So, I'm so excited about the video. I can't wait to post it. I got to work today, so hopefully, you know, I'll get it done and have it up tonight. But if not, you guys have an awesome day, and um, God, I'm just so excited to do this. You know where the cell phone goes, so everyone's safe on the road, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.